And of course, as you can see, we're joined by one of the world champs that Joe was talking about, Natasha Jonas, who of course has that WBO shiny belt. And uh, you're back in the gym. You're not exactly taking much time out, really. I know you've got a busy life. You're a presenter, you're a mother and everything else that's going on. So what is going on? You, you training full on then at the minute? What's happening? No, I've just um, just come on back. I think we've got a little bit of a, a thing here, haven't we? Where we always like tick mm. over and stay like half decent shape and ready. Mm. Um, and that's just what I'm doing. I'm I'm in the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just training once, and that's you know with Johnny still. Um, and yeah, I'm just just ticking over. And Johnny Reynolds is who you're referring to as well, doing the SNC work as well as the boxing work that you're still doing, obviously all the time. Yeah, obviously it is, as I said, um, Jordan last camp there was a lot of science that went into it, and don't want to just let that all go. Um, particularly as I may be staying mm. at this weight because everyone else is still tied up. <laughs> so yeah, I want to keep it going and 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 yeah, be be comfortable and perform at the weight. Tash, obviously we're going to get onto the big one. What's happening weekend? A fighter you know really well in Katie Taylor. Before we go on to prediction wise, we know Kate in the past, like people will question the um, difficulty she has with southpaws. What kind of problems do you expect Saran to propose her? I think, you know, you look at uh, even the amateurs through to the professionals um, and the people that she's, I wouldn't say struggled with, but like, you know, I've, I've had difficulty with as being your Gulsum Tartars, as being yeah. your Sophia Rachegavers, as being, you know, close fights with myself. So um, I do think if, if there is an Achilles, it, it's a southpaw. Um, you can draw it into the fight, as we've seen with Pursuit. Mm. And Serrano is a, a come-forward, aggressive mm. southpaw. She's not a, a Limachenko or a, a bit of a lazy yeah. person like myself, but a counter-punch in <laughs> me. Um, she'll, she'll, go, she'll go for you and she'll be aggressive. And um, I think you can draw Katie into a fight that way. Um, she has done MMA before. She's yeah. been she's around. She's crossed over a little bit, hasn't she? Yeah. yeah, she's been around a very long time. So that's experience, that's toughness that, you know, she may not have ever came across before. Yeah. I mean, you're getting hit with them elbows. I've done a little bit of training with Molly and stuff. <laughs> and I swear, I, I, I sparred once and I couldn't walk for about two days. So when that's happening and you're training for fights and, you know, preparing yourself for them five-minute rounds, that's, that's a different type of hard. And, and she's yeah. done both. Do you think you can read in, into anything about... Kate already fighting Cindy, the sister. And I think there was that kind of funny scene at the I end think, of that fight when, yeah, the, when, was it when Cindy's coach? husband, who's also yes. the coach of both, said, wait till you fight the other one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit mad. But I mean, will he she had take his wife's any... back. <laughs> <laughs> will, he take, will she take any real positives from that? Or was it totally different fighters and, and different kind of styles? I mean, you can, you, you can always live and hope. Like we, we, we hoped Callum would be Canelo for, <laughs> for Liam's sake. Um, but, you, you know, it, I, I don't think she'll be... That'll be the forefront of her mind. She's going to do a job for, for herself and, mm. and, and perform the best she can without the extra added pressure. Sometimes people just look for a, you know, a coincidence or a, yeah. something to jump on a story to a storyline. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So I don't think she'll be worried about that. She'll be focusing on herself and, and being in the best condition she can be to, to you know, do the unthinkable. So about the fight, how do you see it going? Give us your prediction, give us your breakdown. Well, I don't think it's it's going to be a pursuing scenario where she's the you know the Katie's deemed the home fighter yeah. and she's in New York and you know you're going well, there to be, take. Could be very much split down the middle. Big mm. Puerto Rican contingent, obviously a massive Irish contingent. There's going to be support for both there. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. She's she's a, an American in America. Yeah. Um, she like I said, uh, sometimes with the the, the score and it, we know that the Americans prefer aggression. Yeah. Like I said, I do think. Um, Serrano will be aggressive. I don't think sure. Katie's going to have to go looking for her. I think she just goes and puts it on her and, and see what happens. Um, there isn't a style that Katie hasn't fought. There isn't a person, you know, fast, slow, counter-punched, aggressive, tall, little. There isn't a person she hasn't fought in, in amateurs or professionals. So it's sometimes hard to, to bet against her. But that being said, I just do think uh, Serrano was all wrong for her, yeah. um, and I don't, I, I don't think either of them stop either of them. It goes the distance. It goes the distance, and I think it potentially is a is a close one to Serrano. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? That would be a first professional defeat. But I mean, in terms of the event that we're talking about, I mean, you and Katie famously met at the Olympics, and that was an incredible event. It was yeah. a it was a big statement for women's boxing as, in the amateurs. 
Katie's been a trailblazer, but you've had your, your big moments as well. You're a world champion in your own right. You've had the big fight with Katie. What does it mean for the women's side of the sport that they are topping the bill at MSG oh, in the big room? Huge, yeah. yeah, it's 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 massive, and there's you know pretty much a, Katie's paved the way in a lot of things that we've done amateur and professionally, um, and opened many doors and and left us to be able to follow in her footsteps. And I think as female athletes, we always knew how good it was. We just needed the world and the platform and the stage to do it. And there's no bigger stage. Like, we're talking about boxing mechas here in a MSG and, and not the little room, they've said, mm. that's in the big room. Mm-hmm. Um, and to be to be able to headline that, that's, that's you know, that's setting the standard for, for other promoters, other channels, other platforms to, to follow. And um, and it, it proves that what we've been saying all along, at its best, women's boxing is just as good as the men's. And people are now buying into that. Um, mm. There is no, oh, it's a man, it's a woman. It's just, it's just boxing. boxing. And if you appreciate boxing, like, you, you want to see it at its best level. But enough about that. What about you then? Because you've got that belt now. You, you had to move up to get the opportunity <laughs> to win the WBO belt, and you did it in style. And, and you were talking about the science of it, obviously, moving up in weight, which you did very well, clearly. And now, if you stick around at that weight, Again, I know Joe's thoughts, but there's the Hannah Rankin fight, if it's possible, and that would be a unification. Scotland, England, there's an, an easy story to tell there, isn't it? But there's the other champions as well. So what, as far as you're concerned, what would you want to happen? What do you think will happen? Um, I just want to fight. Um, I think she's having a homecoming in Glasgow, yep. OVO, uh, 13th of May. Yep. And like hoping and, and willing that she comes through that, that... Um, you know, there is an opportunity for us to, to box and it's a fight that we both want. We both believe we can win. Um, and who doesn't love, you know, we're talking about stories that you'll and selling points, who doesn't love an England versus Scotland rivalry? And it's not going to be, you know, a, a trash talk and a, like that kind of scenario. Yeah. I think it'll be very much Taylor Serrano where we're, we're going to let the fight and talk on the night. It'd be incredible, actually, if it did happen because there's just, you know, you're a TV star now as well, <laughs> away from the ring. And, you know, we know your story, which is brilliant. Hannah's a professional musician. She's a great talker as well as yourself, and you know she'd, she'd sell it brilliantly. She's a great, great character, great person as well. It would be, it'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? I mean, for for the UK. Yeah, I think it's a it's a, a big event, and we're talking about you know, you, you you've got maybe Cla- Cla- Clarissa and Savannah on the horizon, you know, myself and um, Rankin, and and these are big, huge fights for mm. for the British public and for female boxing. You know, we, she's a champion in her own right. You know, Rankin's been in with the likes of yeah. Savannah and Clarissa, and um, you know, I respect who she is, what she brings to the table, like I did with Namas, like I did with the um, the opponent before, and. I've just got to put my best foot forward, and that's what that's what I always do. Like I say, mm. give a hundred percent at every camp. And I remember Joe saying to me ages ago, you know what he's like. like mm. Once you walk through these, you know, these doors and 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 start challenging for titles, you can't go back. And I don't want to have these tick over fights. And I, I, I've done that, mm. and I, I, you know, I, I'm ready to just you know keep fighting the best, and that's what I want to do. Sound test now. Sound that way. Well, it is, and I think that because we have a current world champion with us, Anthony, it's only fair that Natasha signs us out the show because, you, you know, I mean, you've had your day, let's face it. You know, <laughs> I you're, have. You're doing great things as a coach now. You do, no, you're doing I'm great trying, things as a coach. Trying, you know, no one should ever forget your WBA lightweight championship of the world, which we're always contracted that we have to say that when Anthony's <laughs> it's part, of the, part of the gig uh, on the lightweight He paved the way for the rest of Gallagher's, you know <laughs> that, don't you? That, that means a lot. He, he did. <laughs> of course, everything you see on the show, there are long-form interviews on the YouTube channel. All you have to do is go there, the lightweight boxing show, and like and subscribe. But would you do the honour, Natasha, as a current world champion, to sign us out and say, you, thank you very much indeed for watching the lightweight boxing show? Thank you very much indeed for watching the Lightweight Boxing Show.